Hello, this is Rowan, and you might notice something different here. I have hands, and they can move, and I can do little things like, oh, close my fingers some, and maybe I can actually get my thumbs to behave. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe, um, almost, almost, yeah, but, um, and you notice I, I stole something from someone, uh, maybe just a little bit, and, oh, yeah, I have legs, well, Sort of, I sort of have legs. See, watch this. Boop. And boop. Oh, you know what? You don't think that's anything special, do you? Well, honestly, it's very special because now, hello, I can walk over here. And you don't know what I'm doing except... Well, I'm standing over here, obviously. See, and I can move over here. And, uh, yeah, you get to see how messed up my wrists look here. See, that looks nice. And then when I turn it, oh, my God, you, what did you do to your wrists? Well, that's kind of a problem with these avatars. Um, yeah. Forearms don't actually, you know, do that flippy thing that they're supposed to do. So, okay. So, how's all this happening? I'm sure that's the real reason why you're here. Because Mr. R probably put a good title on this. Like, how the F do I move my avatar? Or something stupid like that, huh? Yeah, uh, let me take off this there. Oh, I think that'll help. There's some reflection on Mr. R's glasses. It doesn't matter that he's blind now. It's okay. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, it's wonderful. I can move. And the reason why I can move is because, well, we're using this little software here. Uh, DSS Body Tracker 2. Now, um... There's a lot of people who are sitting there going, yeah, well, that's, that's not new. It's been around for a while. Well, you know what? Something we found out is that everybody thinks you need to use two cameras. You don't. You can use one camera. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on a second camera to make this work. And you see all these things over here? You know, the, these folders and stuff that, that are over here? Yeah, guess what? Those have all the answers. And for the ridiculously cheap price of one million dollars... Oh, okay, okay, fine. We'll give them to you for free because we're nice people. Okay? Um, yeah. So we're going to have these files linked somewhere so you can get to them if you need to. But basically, um, the magic... The sauce is that you use OBS Studio's virtual camera and um, you set up a bunch of stuff in VC Face and, you know, then you uh, make sure that um, this little app, which one is that again? The, that's the, um, come on, what are you named again? Uh, DSS Body Tracker 2. You make sure that it's actually behaving. Um, so there's a lot of software out there made with, you know, Unity. That, that's a whole different ball of wax, the old, the, this thing that's been going on for the last couple of weeks with, oh my God, oh, they're such jerks, but whatever. That's aside, not, not getting into that right now. Um, right now, we're going to talk about um, the um, actual uses for this stuff. Okay, uh, let's, let's get into the, the, the nitty gritties here. So, first, to be able to um, actually use this software, we need to set up some stuff in VC Face. Let me bring up the mouse here on the VC face folder and there's a whole bunch of um, stuff here. We're going to open this with the uh, media player, whatever sort, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to um, 
zoom in. Okay, so this is our first set of settings. Um, this is, you know, this is mostly for our benefit. Um, none of this is really going to be special other than it'll tell you if there's other little things you can turn on. And um, let's see, which one is it? General 2, is that it? The one that has the, uh, oh God, he's so blind without those glasses on. Uh, face tracking, graphic settings, yeah. We want to look at, um, excuse me for a second here. Can I make this bigger? Oh, thank goodness. And in fact, we can make that even bigger. Okay, well, that's as big as that's going to get. That's awesome. All right, so uh, V-Sync, eh, you can set that to V-Sync instead of that. Uh, so, okay, first, device settings. Camera, we are using the OBS virtual camera. Um, that was, it's pretty easy to set up if you used OBS. And of course, we're using our regular microphone. Uh, virtual camera is turned off because you see, if you directly um, talk to your camera, that camera can only talk to one device at a time, right? I mean, you can only have one app set up for this. So um, that would be either VC face or the um, tracking, I hate the names they give these things. It's taken me forever to be able to remember VC face, DSS body tracker. So yeah, normally people think you have to get a second camera and so that you can have one attached to VC face and you can have the other one attached to this body tracker. Well, well if you just, if you, pardon me, pardon me, bye. My microphone's too far away. It's causing problems. So, um, if you use the OBS camera, pardon the booms. My boom is not quite quiet. Um, yeah, so if you use the OBS camera, the virtual camera, you're basically not using a piece of hardware, you're using software. Right. So that means that you can have them both be attached to this camera, your apps. All right. So that's the first part there. Okay. Now, um, we're going to talk about things like, oh, that's just other stuff. But, you know, because these documents are made for, for our reference so that we don't mess things up on accident, um, we have to uh, have some overlap here. Okay, so here's the next part. You want to turn on OSC, um, what is that, a v VMC receiver. Now, this disables your standard uh, VC face tracking. And this is where people think, oh, your face tracking isn't going to work anymore. Well, um, hello. Do you see my face tracking? This is all VC face. Okay. So, you know, so like, ah, or, ah, or, mm, you make me angry. Don't write me when I'm angry. See, all that stuff still works. And I wonder why. Oh, that's because we have apply VC face tracking checked and apply expressions and track face features and track blend shapes those are all turned on now oh this is a better better view of it so you can see that all these little and jawbone i mean uh, my jaw doesn't even move okay but i have it turned on just in case at some point we're gonna be able to do this and you know, have my jawbone move, uh, but, but, but whatever. But okay, so track head and neck. So obviously, I'm using the VC face head and neck tracking, and um, tracking my spine and chest so that you can see 
that I can like turn my chest a bit here and I can do some stuff. Pardon my hands. You see, that's a problem with these things. You need to have your hands constantly visible. And unfortunately, um, Mr. R can't stand to do this because, well, he has to control the keyboard and stuff. So when your hands go down, um, yeah, it's like they have a life of their own. So unless you like put your hands apart on the table, you might get into some dangerous uh, situations. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let me keep the hands up, okay? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, so, um, so track spine and chest, track lower, so this is part of the walking, right? Because we're tracking the lower body, it's able to do some swaying, but that step stuff requires other stuff. And there's a secondary OSCM VMC protocol receiver you have to turn on. So there's two parts. Okay, let me go back here. There's um, this part here where we enable the OSC VMC receiver. So that is getting information from um, our little friend down here, uh, the, dang, I hate these titles, I keep telling you, the DSS Body Tracker, okay, and then we've got all these basic settings turned on. Now, track fingers and track wrists, now that's part of the applied VC face. You can see these are all VC face things that are still turned on. If I turn those on, um, bad things happen. My hands don't work right because VC face doesn't track those. Now I think maybe if I got leap motion and turned that on and had these turned on, it might do that. But I don't have that yet, so we're not going to play with that. Um, track hands to shoulders. If you turn that on, your arms go straight down and your little hands are down here and you can't do anything with them. So we have that off also, okay? Um, now, what else are we looking at here? We're looking at track lower body and spine. I already talked about that, okay? Now let's go back to these secondary things here. Um, so secondary, now everything is coming across on port 33, 33, 33. That's, that's all got to do with the other app. We'll get to that soon. Um, um, th these I'm not sure about, but so far having these settings turned on. Now these are specifically for the OSC VMC. The stuff before was turning stuff on that um, VC face normally has. The second part is turning things on that are specifically for the um, VI, the uh, what is that? Oh, shoot, it's that app. Yeah, um, it's the um, body tracking app. So these are things you want the body tracking app to definitely work with. The blend shapes, that's the that's your facial forms. Uh, the fingers, obviously that's these fingers right here. So you see I can do some some minor stuff here. There is uh, some issue with the thumbs. You have to really get the thumbs moved in on at least one of your hands to be able to do things. The other hand, it doesn't seem to be as good. Um, it's, you know, that. what do you expect for free? Jeez, okay. Yeah, okay, but they, they, they're, they're pretty good so that, you know, you can do like, hey, look over there, look over there. Hey, flippy doodles, double birds. Oh, yeah. Uh, most of the time. There we go. Yeah, see? Uh, pardon me, I didn't mean to be rude, but, you know, well, if you got fingers, you can use them. Uh, speaking of which, the tracking on these are not super, but again, free, okay? So, like, this is me 
I'm trying to touch the top of my head. You can see that I'm actually there. Mr. R's hands are touching his hair. Okay, now these are not my eyes, but Mr. R's hands are next to his eyeballs. Let me see if he if he moves them around a little bit. Uh, okay, th that's in front of the ma mouth, um, but I'm I'm not. This is touching the. See, there's there's certain inaccuracies here, right? The, the, this this is not. Um, you know, I'm trying to touch my cheeks here, <laughs> so the, there is some inaccuracy here, right? And one of the oddball things here, I'm going to drop both my arms down, and um, you see how the elbows stick out? Well, uh, I can get the left, my uh, right elbow, you know, the, the one you see on the left, gets pretty close and this one is okay I guess but a lot of the times this right my, my left arm the one you see on the right um, a lot of times it just sort of floats out and that's just weird I, did, I don't understand what causes that to happen now mind you um, right now Mr. R's working the mouse and you can see that my left arm is sticking out a lot. Oh, excuse me, itchy nose. Um, yeah, so yeah, right now uh, the arm sticks out a little bit. So you got to think about it if you're going to do V tubing stuff. What your hands are doing at all times if you're going to be moving. And you really should try to use the hands if you're going to do it, right? So um, yeah. So, um, getting back on topic, these are all settings that are specifically things you want to use. And you want to have the um, uh, DSS Body Tracker app um, set up to work with. Okay, now, uh, next part. Let's see. Now, these are some of the advanced features that we have turned on. Um, you can see that uh, I'm looking real difficult here. Uh, in increased process priority. I, I think that helps by, you know, actually giving more um, processor priority, literally, to VC face. And... Um, down here, this is the important part, avatar locomotion. So that coupled with the um, part where we're talking about the spine um, on VC face, track spine, chest, and lower body in the VC face, uh, keep connected settings there. That is what lets you have me do things like this. See, where I can sort of step over here and, and I can sort of step back. Now, mind you, um, I, I have kind of a limited space I'm working with here because, um, well, I'm going to be able to show you that stuff over there, right? And... If I'm standing in front of it, it's not going to help. But if I wanted to do something else, I could, you know, I could be over there if I reset things so that I'm not all the way over here in this corner. But uh, for this video, I'm here. Now, um, let's see. Where are we? Uh, where were we? Okay, advanced settings and any other advanced settings you might want to be knowing about. Disable webcams, FPS, yeah. You know, um, if your webcam is pretty good and your PC is pretty fast, why would you want to limit your FPS? Yeah, okay. And uh, disable enhanced transparency. I. You know, um, I'm not even sure what that is, but I figure, why would I, uh, why would I have it on if um, I don't have problems with transparency? So it's off for now.
Okay, and so th those are all the weird little settings. You can glean information off of these because there's obviously a whole bunch of stuff like, you know, the auto blank stuff and the hybrid lip syncing. Th those will, you know, help you see how I end up doing stuff here with my face also. But, okay, most, most of what we wanted to cover in VC face today was just how this body activity and the ability to use these hands are set up. So, you know, look at them all you want to, uh, but we're going to move on at this point. We're going to now look at oh, OBS. Okay, OBS, we only have one screenshot. And, um, Oh, that's tiny. Uh, let's take a look here and open that up with the media player type thing here that we can zoom in. All right, so in OBS, your output type is source for virtual camera, and you select your actual um, camera. Obviously, I have my name second webcam because, well, I still have my old primary webcam, which is going to be um, set up in the future here for, um, well, we got a little arm that hangs off the table now, and um, it's going to have the webcam on it facing downwards for when we, you know, do uh, complete surgery on a PC, and we want to be able to show you the uh, guts while we're working on it. Yeah, but um, so yeah. Anyhow, uh, output type is source, and output selection is whatever the name of your web camera is. All right, so there is a step-by-step -step process that you should follow when you decide to use this software. To start with, when you um, start up your session, you obviously, you want to load OBS and you want to go and turn on the virtual camera. It's in the uh, control panel on the, by default, I think it's on the right side of the OBS screen. Um, and you just want to start virtual camera and make sure that your settings are for the actual camera you're using. Okay, and now that's about it for the OBS portion of the festivities here. Um, let's see. Do you, okay, this is, what is this? That's uh, mm, old. Yeah, you don't need to know about some old stuff there. That's some old, old audio stuff. But okay, so what do we have here? That's the OBS virtual camera. Ah, DSS body tracker. There's only one shot here. And, um, yeah, this one's tiny also. Let's open that up with the cyber link, blah, blah, blah. Zoom in. Okay, so in the... Um, here, let's actually bring up that whole app. Um... Uh, don't mind me, I'm going to bring up this, um, oh, no, it's not showing up, there it is, okay, so don't mind my dumb doppelganger over here, um, uh, let's zoom that out a little bit, okay, yeah, um, you see how the arm's doing the weird thing here, yeah, and her eyes don't work very well, she's kind of looks vacant, doesn't she? Kind of like a Barbie version of me. Oh, jeez. Anyhow, um, yeah, so here we are, um, in, when you start this up, you see you have a VMC send, and that's the, um, port that you're going to be sending in, but when you start this app up, you can go through and in settings, you can select your model. Um, you can also go into camera settings. You see how it says 
OBS virtual camera here. And you can also see that its uh, resolution is 1280 by whatever. Yeah, you know, the, these apps are very um, picky. Uh, no, it's not the quite, quite. They're, they tend to be stubborn. So um, even though you set it as OBS, and you close the window, and you close the window, and you quit this app, and you start it up again, it doesn't necessarily keep that setting. So um, it's frustrating. It was very frustrating when we were troubleshooting this app that, um, you know, we would be working on it, and suddenly nothing would work, and we'd be, like, scrambling, going, where, where did it break? Where did it break? Oh, my God. Is there some weird RAM thing going on? You know, it was just constantly stressing out until we realized these apps, you know, um, these Unity apps, I, I don't know why, if, if it's just, like, um, a problem with them, but a lot of times they don't keep your settings. Um, and, and that's why we have all these screenshots for, for VC face. We found that, you know, um, Mr. R and I, and, um, even Rogan, he's just an art guy, but you know, um, even Rogan, we, we found that taking pictures of the settings is critical because when something screws up, you can go look at the picture and go, oh, that doesn't match what's in this program. Let's fix that. <laughs> and then suddenly things work again, right? So, and I'm sure that's why people think that you need two cameras, two cameras to work with, you know, this cell setup and you don't, you just need one. Okay, and so, yeah, so settings, I showed you, you go in here, you do the camera setup, all right, so start OBS, turn on your virtual camera, okay, and then come into here, and you select your model, if you're lucky, it'll remember your model, and you go into cameras, and you make sure your settings are set correctly, all right, then you go over here, you see how it says stop camera. When you first start the app, it'll say start camera. So you click on start camera, okay? More takes you to a website. Discord takes you to a Discord, duh. Now, I haven't tried the VR chat OSC experimental um, someday when, I, you know, someday when we have a, uh, you know, a big, Oculus or whatever the heck is going to HTC or whatever freaking brand is going to, you know, come out on top and not cost an arm and a leg. When, once we get one of those, then we might try doing some VR chat stuff. That'll be awesome. Yeah. And then so um, when you've done all these other steps, you come over here and you click on start and... You know, then your model will go from being in T pose to, you know, actually uh, standing there looking like the slightly vacant airhead version of uh, your avatar. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move her away now because we don't need her there. And, you know, um, let's bring up VC face while we're at it. <laughs> Come on. Um, this could be a little disjointing here. There we go. Yeah, sorry. So then you go into VC face, and I can't show you because, well, it's, um, I'd lock up doing this, I think. All right, um, shoot, yeah, you go into VC face, you pick your avatar, and you make sure that, um, you know, that you're, um, camera set to OBS so um okay we're gonna you're gonna have to see me freeze up or disappear for a bit here so we're going to uh hold on a second this is gonna be audio only click <laughs> yeah audio only so then we're gonna open up VC face 
the things we do for you. Okay. All right. So, Rowan Sierra. Yes, that's my special name, Sierra. Rowan Sierra. And we are going to come over here. You see how it says OBS virtual camera up here? Yeah, we're going to pick that. Uh, camera settings. Yeah, these are all the different settings you can set up. If you've used OBS before, you know about all these. But we pick and we make sure we're on OBS. We click start. And oh, did you see how quickly I had that little T pose thing going on? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. And then, you know, make sure that your settings are properly, um, you know, all these things right here. Yeah, and um, I've made little minor tweaks like using VSync. And, um, but you can see in device settings, we're using the OBS virtual camera where we're only using one camera. And here we are. So that's it. And I will um, have Mr. R link uh, all those um, settings that you saw scrolling by here anyway. Or maybe you don't need them, honestly. Um, well, you know, leave a comment if any of this doesn't make any sense at all. Or if you can't read something on the screen. And um, we will get that information to you. Um, hopefully this helped you very much um, at all, maybe, hopefully. You know, uh, we like to say that uh, we enjoyed wasting time with you today. And we always do enjoy wasting time with you guys. But um, hopefully this one was, you know, a little bit less of a waste of time and more of a benefit. And um, again... Like always, it was fun wasting time with you all today, and we hope to see you again real soon. And you know what to do if you want to get more content like this. I'm not going to hit you with the big old uh, 3D hammer. So thank you, and have a nice day.